Good morning, boys and girls, and happy Monday. I hope everyone had a very nice weekend. I hope my moms had a very nice Mother's Day. And boys and girls, I just want to say thank you for participating in our virtual Spirit Week for in honor of teacher appreciation. So <clears throat> I love love uh, funny joke Friday. So I'm going to start with some funny jokes because those always make my day. So it's always good to laugh and smile. So here's a few jokes for you to get to get started. Why can't your nose be 12 inches long? Because then it would be a foot. <laughs> okay, here's another one. How do you get straight A's? by using a ruler. Get it? Straight A's. Ha ha ha. Okay. Why did the man run around his bed? Because he was trying to catch up on sleep. Okay. Two more. Here we go. Here's the knock knock joke. Knock knock. Who's there? Icing. Icing who? Icing loudly so everyone can hear me. I wish I could sing. Knock, knock. Who's there? Hawaii. Hawaii you. I can't do the knock, knock joke. Let's do that one again. Hold on. Okay, knock, knock. Who's there? Hawaii. Hawaii who? I'm fine, Hawaii you. Okay, boys and girls, maybe I should, you know, stick to uh, not being a comedian. Anyway, laughing is good for the soul. So here's a few things I think we could laugh about today. Just for fun, I looked up um, some like fun like days in May. Um, of course, we honored our moms. Last week, we honored our teachers. Uh, two Fridays ago, I think it was, you honored me because it was a school principal's day. So May 1st was School Principals Day, and thank you so much. I really appreciate all of the nice greetings I've received. But May 2nd, do you know what, what was May 2nd? So May 1st is School Principals Day. May 2nd was World Tuna Day. So appropriate, right? Okay, so May 4th through the 11th was National Teacher Appreciation Week, and on May 6th was National Nurses Day. Well, guess what else was that week? Okay, Root Canal Awareness Week. Root Canal Awareness Week. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Mrs. Mosser, what's a root canal? You know what? It's better not to know, so we're just going to move on from that. Okay, here's a good one. May 8th. We missed it, but hey, I think we could recreate this one. It was No Sock Day. Were you wearing socks on May 8th or were you honoring No Sock Day? Well, it was No Sock Day, but I think that's a pretty funny one and we can maybe do that a little bit later on again. Here's a good one and it's coming up on May 14th. May 14th is Dance Like a Chicken Day. All right, so on May 14th, you're just gonna get up right before you have breakfast and I want you to dance like a chicken. How about it? Um, right after you're done with your Schoology, dance like a chicken. And don't forget, so mark it on your calendar, it's dance like a chicken day. That would be kind of fun. But in all seriousness, May is Get Caught Reading Month. So how appropriate, because on Thursday, I saw you with some great books in your hands. And it's National Good Car Keeping Month. So if you have a good car, keep it. Sounds good, right? Okay, so today I'm going to share with you um, another favorite snack of mine. A lot of you made those frozen, um, what did I make? Oh, those frozen bananas with the almond butter. Well, here's another healthy snack that's tasty and sweet and healthy. So I'm going to show you what it is. First, you need an apple. You need your favorite butter. Of course, Mrs. Mosser loves almond butter. You need some chocolate chips. And of course, Mrs. Mosser likes dark chocolate. You're also going to need some honey. And you're going to, um, because Ms. this this uh, butter is not very liquidy. Mrs. Mosser mixed it with some um, 
coconut oil so that it would get a little liquidy so you could see it right there so i'm going to show you really quickly how to make it and i love that some of you are making my little treats so here are your nachos so you're going to have your parent or an older sibling cut an apple up for you and you're just going to lay them on the plate you could de decorate them however you'd like i'm just going to make a nice little circle you know mrs jordan made the uh, banana, my little banana chocolate almond butter surprises. I'm going to call them monkey bites. So she made the, the monkey bites because monkeys like bananas and they're just so delightful. So this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to arrange it in a little circle and then I'm just going to put these two in the center. And I'll save this little piece for Bravo because he loves apples. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is you could take some of your honey. And you could just kind of drizzle it across. Oh, Mrs. Simmons also made it for her family. So I saw her, she made some of those little monkey bites. We did those last week. So if you don't remember, you can always check out my YouTube channel. And then we're gonna take some of our favorite butter, whether it's Nutella or peanut butter, or like I said, the monsters love almond butter. And you're gonna do the same thing. And it's kind of fun to drizzle. You could drizzle with your fork, a spoon, a little spatula. We like little, like little things at the monsters. We have little spatulas, little um, whisks, little forks. I don't know, something fun about little. And then you take some of your chips and you just put it all around. Now, the good thing about this, boys and girls, is you might say, Mrs. Mossar, I don't like dark chocolate, but you have a little bit of honey here. So, and you can put as much or as little as you want. And boys and girls, there you have it. There is our apple nachos. So if you're looking for a fun snack, there you have it. And you know what, boys and girls, it is looking pretty sunny out today it was raining earlier but now it looks like the sun's trying to peek through so if you could get outside please do so and always always remember to be a star because we know that s stands for safety first t stands for take responsibility a stands for act with kindness and r stands for respect others so we're going to be stars as we go into our week and remember my favorite rule is you got it rule number five make your dear teacher happy so you make your dear teacher happy your dear parents happy your grandparents your aunts who's ever in your house i want you to make them happy by being a star and you know what that stands for so Boys and girls, enjoy your week, and I'll see you next week. I have a special surprise next week. So enjoy your apple nachos. Bye-bye.